Oh, do you want to see inside the Scanny XL? Guys, thanks very much for clicking on my channel. And if you haven't been watching, this is a Scanny XL. Not a long line, and it's not your standard Scanny cab, it's a bit longer. So a normal Scanny, the wind kit, lined here, that's where the back of the cab would be. We have got an extra foot here. Please do not get confused with this being a long line. A long line is a meter longer, okay? We'll do another video on that separately, but not a long line. It's an XL. There's two types of XLs though. The XLs in the market, which we are trying to figure out, are only half this length and they just have a bigger bed inside. Mine is a lot more different and special. Now, this is obviously a massive upgrade from my last truck that I have, which we still do have. If you haven't seen it, go look. Uh, we put a custom interior on in that. Uh, that was done by Northview. But this one was done uh, by Royal Class Interiors out in Holland. I mean, and you can just see... Absolutely stunning. I mean, even the leather on the dash is done so well and tight. I mean, that is still all nice and tight. Push button upholstery and the door cards, all painted as well. Everything's painted, the seat bases are painted, everything bar the face of the dash. This has all not been done and it's not been hydro. This is still all standard, but I like it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with what is still technically standard on the truck and then what is modified and what you trade off for those modifications, I suppose, if there is a trade off, right? So we'll start off with what is standard on the truck. So, it's got every extra and option, buttons, there's not one single blank, okay? I've got all my air suspension there, I've got air on the front, my lights, my horns, everything. Uh, my beacon's up here, I've got my CB, or retractable uh, wire, which is very handy, instead of trying to get it back on a click. Air duster, you can buy these from Scanny, by the way, I think, still. That style. On here, I have a full camera brigade system. All my cameras, this records everything, and this is all connected to my indicators, my brakes, everything. It's like a black box down the side here. So I've got that as well, which is very good for your insurance. And if you're ever involved in an accident, this could really get you out of a situation. If people went and said, oh, you, you weren't indicating or you weren't doing something, that is a black box. As long as you were a professional driver, you did everything right, that'll store it all. Always got aircon, night heater, uh, full entertainment. USB, aux, everything. Lovely little V8 badge. I've missed having one of them. Coffee machine. Coffee machine is uh, it is an extra, but this is obviously a Scania one. Uh, they used to be mounted in early days up in one of the top walkers, but they took up a lot of room. So uh, Scania started mounting them here, which is a bit better, I feel, because you can turn it on and then you can just stay there hot and you can pour it. It is a proper percolator. With water, coffee bags, that one's been used. And then heat something when you're done, there's your coffee. The seats are standard, apart from obviously being reupholstered. Uh, all your air fittings, uh, your lumbar support, everything. These are your proper Griffin Pack seats. It's got the Bluetooth. I like the Bluetooth when it's here. It's quite a clear Bluetooth system. Uh, this is standard, not standard. This is what you can buy from Scanny at the time. They've changed it now. And I do know why, because the one thing annoying about this thing is when... You're talking and you forget to fold it away and you go to look. I know it doesn't seem like much, but if that catches you, it can be quite, you know. So they don't do that anymore, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't seen it for a very long time. So at the front here, this usually used to be sun, uh, your like sun visor, but it's all been ripped out and replaced. To be fair, I've never used a sun visor. I either have my sunglasses or a cap, but obviously I've got you know, the extended sun visor outside, you know, the external one, and that helps as well. So it never bothers me that, okay, I'd, I've never used them, so that's obviously just a nice feature, and there's some extra down lighters in there as well. Now, moving up to the top half here, right? So one of my favourite things is, right, in my wee highline, I loved it. Like I said, it was a great order, but in the summer, it was roasting hot. Um, wasn't so bad at night, but it still is hot, but if you had to try and sleep during the day, 
They're just really hot, tiny little cabs. Um, I always thought about getting one of these, but they're quite expensive. This is a pod. It's an air-conditioning pod. Now, I've got a wee remote. I can obviously push the button there. You have these if you're going abroad, but basically, that's your air-conditioning through the night. You can set it, fan speed, temperature, and uh, I will just point them that way. And that just blows me continuous cold air when I'm trying to sleep, which gives me good rest, right? I'm not there sweating, up and down, tossing, turning, out like a light. Bloody brilliant, love it. Now, these are my storage lockers, okay? So, push, open. This is what I would call my pantry. It is a wee bit low in stock, but I've obviously got my coffee bags, my coffee, cereal, rice. This is like my dry goods store, my, my water, and I've also got some extra plug sockets there if need be. Uh, I'm actually thinking about maybe modifying this shelf here so I can fit an air fryer in there, to be honest. I'm thinking about carrying, taking an air fryer with me, at, you know, quite a healthy way of eating because everything right now is either just usually the, the microwave and reheating uh, pre-cooked meals, but... I'm thinking about getting an air fryer. Obviously, third one is my microwave, and I've got my plates and everything under there. Just standard household microwave because there's an inverter in this lorry. And the third one is where I'll have my sat nav, my maps, uh, my tacker download. I've got a card machine there as well. Uh, obviously, do if we ever carrying stock with us for the show, like our merchandise. But obviously, if people are wanting a job done, I can take a payment there and then. Uh, if they don't want to do invoicing, it just depends on the situation before it comes off. We can say, right, payment, payment cleared, done, dusted. Also right here is uh, today's video sponsor, Manscaped. Now, Manscaped would be a great supporter of my channel and always been there and let me do my content and what I want. And I've always loved working with them. Uh, my discount code is sandy 20 at manscaped.com and uh, you'll get 20% off of everything. You get the weed whacker, lawnmower, I get some ball deodorizer, and uh, some after washing for when you've done the deed to keep yourself nice and neat and clean, right? In this packaging, you get a pair of boxer shorts, you get the wash bag, everything. And before you all start thinking, uh, do you actually use the stuff? Yes, I've actually got my Manscaped wash bag here uh, with one of my kits, and then I have my other one. Because when you're away, I do think it's good and important to keep yourself nice and fresh and clean. Uh, and I hate being grotty and slimy. Just keeps you on top of it. The products are really good. I love their beard shampoo and other stuff, but guys, Thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring my channel. Uh, always appreciate Sandy20 at Manscaped.com for 20% off. So thanks for staying on. Now, back to my video. Uh, so here's the bit you all want to see. The back of the cab. The difference in what it is. Now, obviously, in a standard uh, Scanny truck, this is where your bed would be. And then, obviously, if you had a top bunk as well, you'd have your other bunk there. If you look at my other truck, right? But also, we've got an extra foot. So in this situation... Uh, I have this lovely table to work at, right? I've got a nice couch. Uh, I've always got my stay away bag in there. I've got my telly. Uh, I like to work here. I've got my laptop. And I'll sit away. I can have my dinner. I can do my work. Sit here, chill, watch my telly. Now, originally, the fridge would be stored under here. Okay, this is what's going to be really different. But the fridge has to be moved to this side. So this is your standard scanny fridge. But instead of being in the middle under the bunk, because it's always not there, because we've got a table instead, is under here at the side. But that reduces the size of the height of the locker on that side, outside. Still very deep, but it does reduce it like a wee envelope. But I'm not too bothered, it's a small trade-off. And plus I've got lockers up the back, as you know. Now, my inverter switch is in the back here. So that is the switch for my inverter. So that's all my power to my plug sockets for my microwave and... Uh, for my microwave and anything else I want to connect it, I can connect the Xbox if I really want to, but I do not have time to do that kind of stuff. Oh, but guys, what a difference this cab makes to me. Now, I think all truck cabs should be at the same sort of size, uh, or like the other XLs, which are a wee bit smaller than this. Uh, like they would only, the cab would end about here, but you get a bigger bed and a much larger bed. Um, I love this. I get my dinner out, I get my laptop, I get my diary, my book, my paperwork, telly. If I'm parked up for a very long time, I'm quite happy to sit in this cab and just work away. Um, it's a massive difference. Now, this table as well actually drops down. There's a, a mat as well that goes on top of it. So this section here does become another bed. So if you are a double man on long distance, 
uh, there is another bed here. So it's not like, you know, without it, you'd have to share upstairs. So this would be an excellent truck to go to Europe in. I am actually wanting to do Europe in it. We'll wait and see. We have got things in the pipeline, but we're not too sure. We've got jobs to price. We'll see what comes off. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Now, there's a couple of things to obviously sort. Like this, I need to staple that back up a wee bit. Because at the end of the day, this truck is a few years old. So just things do happen. Staple this up. I'll do it properly. I've got plenty of height. Headroom in here, but look at this, guys. How more comfortable is this? You don't need a big, massive long line cab, in my opinion. I like a long line, but uh, this is a working, practical truck, in my opinion. I can still work this truck, I can still do it. It's easy as now, guys. The biggest thing that I obviously haven't pointed out, but you would have noticed the steering wheel is on the wrong side of this. Steering wheel should be on that side. But it's always on this side. She's left hand drive, right? And the amount of people that ask me, why did you get left hand drive? Well, the truck is the only one. It wasn't like a choice. It came in left hand drive. It was either you, you take it or you don't. She's left hand drive. Now, I'll be honest, I actually don't mind it. I quite like the left hand drive now. I am getting used to it. Uh, I can get as close as I can to the road when I'm doing wide loads. It is, once you get used to it, it's totally fine. You have to watch yourself on some junctions, but I do have my cameras and all that. It's no biggie. Uh, people do keep saying, are you going to convert it? Why don't you convert it? Convert it, convert it, convert it. It's easy to say these things. But one, uh, time, okay? And two, money, right? We're not just, like, we don't just have an endless flow of money. Um, I would like to do it personally just to say we did it. It's not like it has been done before. It's been done loads of times. It was done on the, the Silver Griffin. Because the Silver Griffin, I'm pretty sure you only got in right uh, left-hand drive. Some you converted on the left-hand drive. Uh, I know quite a few trucks have been converted. It's no... I don't want to say it's not a difficult thing, but it can be done. But, like I said, it's money. Plus, the other thing is the interior. Look, we'd have to either send it back to Royals, which isn't cheap, or try and recreate... We could do that ourselves, but we'd have to send the top dash away back to Royals to get redone. Plus, the leather would be different, right? Which isn't that bad, because that is the kind of only... It would only just maybe dismatch from that. But it would be... Like, there's no point, honestly, in doing it. If I was being honest, the only reason I would do it is... Just for the YouTube content... And for my own knowledge and challenge, just to see if we could do it, that that is why I would change it to right hand drive. But not to say we won't. Maybe one day in a year's time, all right, let's let's do it. Let's take on this challenge. But also saying that it's not, it's just it's not just the dash. It's the steering, uh, the steering rack, uh, everything. There's pipe work in the front end. Also, the seats would have to be changed. So there's another thing. The seats, the seats are different. Look, different seats. So this seat. I'd have to get another one of these, get this reupholstered. So it'd be seats. It would be, look, you'd have to do the door cards, well, the buttons there, you'd have to put all well, that. You just have to take them out and stick them on that side. That's not too hard. But even then, the wire on from that side, you have to rerun it and reroute it from that side. Dash, everything. It's easy to say, just, uh, just change it. It's not that hard. Mm. <laughs> It was easy, everyone would do it. But guys, yes, I did almost forget at the end of this video, but yep, the bed. I'm going to show you my bed. So here is my bed. She is not quite a double, but she's more than a single. She's like, I don't know, a three-quarter bed, if you want to call it that. Um, that's that pad. I just took that with me just to show you. So that would go down on top of the table. You drop the table down, stick it on, and then you can put all your bed in there, and that becomes your second bed. But I just climb up here. It's lovely to have all this extra space. Because, like, before, uh, I love my Highline. It's cosy. It's lovely. I still love it. I do love it. I still, we still do work on it and whatnot. But it's quite a nice difference here. Only complaint, I would say, because this truck got a custom interior, it got fully insulated, and then you've got all this extra padding and insulation, and it's leather. There's no breathe. So you do need that pod all the time. It is get quite hot up here quite quick. Um... Like, it is a very, like, you do find yourself using this pod quite a lot. If you didn't have that pod, it would be a nightmare to sleep up here quite a bit. It'll be great in winter. Fantastic in winter. Because um, the other thing is as well, I have double glazed windows. So see them? That is double glazed windows. I'll be honest, I don't like them. 
Don't like the double glazed windows. Uh, one, they're too silent. And I know that sounds stupid, but I like a wee bit of uh, noise. I like to hear everything around me, to get my wits around me. It's just what I'm used to. Other pro, and then if you're driving through a town and you're hauling a wide load, I like to hear everything that's going on. So you can't hear through the windows. So what you need to do is you need to put the windows down, but you can't put them partway down because, look at that, that black line just gets in the way. So you have to kind of put it there, or about there. But to be fair, it's not the worst complaint, it isn't. Apart from that, I love this truck, I love this cab. Uh, it was a goal, it was a dream, done it. Done it, and we're still got more to do. But... Guys, if you've liked this video, stay at the end. Thanks very much for watching. Please always drop comments, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, all the usual stuff, because it does help. Um, but tell me what you'd like to see. I don't know what we're going to do. People say you're going to do your own thing today. Look, there's so many things we'd like to do. We've got, you never know what's around the corner. You never know, we might redo the interior again, do my own thing. I like the interior as it is. I might want to change something like, you know, let's change the front lockers, like put my own spin on it do something different there because I think this is a wee bit plain like it's a wee bit plain up there so I wouldn't mind trying to do my own spin on it here but it's a working truck and we've got work to do and we are busy with work and like I said always give us a message if you want any loads done quotes or pricing uh, and we're always happy to look at it and be very interested but guys thank you very much for staying to the end uh, and as always flat out flat broke oost